Hey Leo, what's going on? Hope everything is going well. We're about to hop into your reading. <clears throat> Thank you for clicking on your reading. I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm still a little under the weather right now, but my body is healing. It's doing very well. So I might have to, my nose is a little runny, so I may have to pet, pet, you know, during the reading. So anyway, Leo, enough of all that. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. So the phase that I'm getting you and, you know, the person on your mind here that you all are in is work through your fears. Okay. New moon in Scorpio energy. So you and this person are in a new phase. Okay. Of your connection. Um, it Scorpio does indicate a period of transformation. All right. So, but with the new moon, I wish I had this book, but that's okay. That's okay. It's almost like you, you all are being called, you know, the new beginning that you all are having is to just like it says, face a fear or to work through, um, fears that you all have had in the connection. Okay. You're being encouraged to face these fears in this new start. Okay. That you all are having. Um, so it's change, but it's changes that are necessary to, you know, start this new chapter. Okay. With one another. So where, where do, okay. First I want to start with, let's, what this person wants overall right now with um, the outcome with you two, Leo, is the two of cups. Okay. So whoever this is, um, just a list of signs, by the way, this absolutely could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, and could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, um, very strongly. Okay. Somebody, uh, I'm getting potentially someone with earth and, um, cancer Venus. This is cancer Venus. Okay. So whoever this is, I think they want the, cause there has to be some sort of like shadow in this connection. Okay. Something here is, um, do I want to say negative? It's fine. Like sometimes we associate just negative with bad, but people, I guess what we have to understand is the negative is there and it, we have the ability to change it and transmute that energy. Okay. So, um, whatever is going on here, this person I feel would like it to bring you two closer together. Okay. That's what I'm getting three, three, three on the time. As I, as I'm saying, this is going to be different for you all, but literally it was just three, three, three. So, which is manifestation, which is turning a negative into a positive. Okay. So that's just confirmation. Um, you know, uh, for a number of you too, I'm hearing opposites attract. I'm hearing, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, but this person, um, would absolutely like the phase that you all are, or the outcome to be that this is something that brings you to ties you two closer together. All right. And, um, you have that with their thoughts and feelings being my greatest wish is to make you smile and feel safe around me. And that is so like cancer Venus. Okay. So <laughs> trust me, I know I have it. Um, <laughs> and a lot of you do too. So, um, yeah, this person, you know, out of, again, out of whatever has transpired here in this connection. Okay. Um, and I feel like I do get the sense of you all are embracing this energy, Leo, of working through your fears. Okay. Just kind of, you know, facing something head on here. 
okay? You may have told this person that, uh, some of you may have Scorpio in your chart and you may have told this person like, hey, something here, like this has to end. Because when I'm looking at the scorpion energy, I'm looking at that stinger and it's like this may sting a little bit, okay? So you may have told this person something that, you know, stung, stung them a little bit, Leo. But a number of you, you did it because it needed to be said or it needed to be done in order just like you know what's going on in order for this new beginning to start happening okay in order for the energy to start shifting and changing and um you know this person because i'm going to get into how you're looking at them but they i feel like they're they're willing to put in the work they want to put in the work leo and um this person really cares about you okay yeah they do and I think you know that. I think you know that they care about you a lot. Um, because with how you're viewing them, I'm just, I'll just start with this, with this right here. Well, you view them like the otter and otter is partner energy. Um, I think this is someone that makes you really happy, Leo. And whatever this person is doing, it's like they're letting you know that you make them really happy. Okay. This is, um, like daydreaming energy, 10 of cups. I think a lot of you, Leo, see your happy ending with who this is. And I think you get the vibe, like this person sees their happy ending with you. They see a lot of happiness with you. Okay. Um, yeah, this person cares about you a lot. And you're also seeing them with the eight of pentacles. So Leo, they could be doing a lot of, you know, uh, work, working on themselves. Okay. You know, self-improvement. That's what I'm getting here. Like this person is putting in the work, showing effort. All right. And yet that was really what I got with this is you're looking at them like, okay, they're, they're really focused, really focused on maybe like their craft. Um, possibly this person is, um, this is a manifestation. Like whenever I look at this card, it's like, she's doing candle work. She's manifesting. She's very focused. Okay. So you are looking at this person, like they're very focused. And again, it's like, I'm getting a lot of self-improvement with that. Okay. They're focused more so on improving themselves for the connection again, because they want to make you feel safe. Okay. Let me go over here really quickly. What I'm seeing with you, Leo, um, is what, you know, what you're wanting out of whatever's happening right now is the Ace of Wands. And this is a brand new beginning. This is a new start. This is starting something that, or, you know, the outcome of this is, um, things move in a way where they a lot, almost like you get a green light for some massive new beginning. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, Leo, like you, the outcome of this is like, cause the ace of wands, it's like, um, the universe, all of the, you know, all of the things come together and I'm getting movement with this, right? Cause it's wands, So I'm getting movement. So some sort of big move, some sort of major change. Okay. Or all things, you know, align. And it's like the universe is like, and here you go. And here is exactly what it is you want the way you want it. Here is the new start. Okay. Um, So yeah, Ace of Wands, it's like, yeah, 
Yeah, this is like this is a brand new start, a brand new beginning. Okay. I feel like this person, you may even be looking at them like they're doing something here to be supportive of this new beginning um, that you're wanting to have. Okay, Leo. Inspired action with the Ace of Wands. I'm just hearing like all systems go. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hearing with Ace of Wands. Like all system, all systems go, um, take off. Okay. Like you're wanting this to take off. Okay. <laughs> um, the situation. So it's also too, like maybe, okay, hold on. Like you're leading the way. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Follow your lead. Like the outcome of this is you want this person to follow your lead because it, okay, that makes sense too. Because check this out. Duh. This person views you as the firefly. The firefly is about inspiration. Okay. And it's, it's energy that is very like instantaneous. Okay. It's, uh, associated like, you know, with an inventor. Okay. You know, all of us have moments where we're like, Oh, that would be a good invention. Okay. But the thing is, you know, and you even hear like songwriters, right. They talk about when, you know, you have a line and you have that, um, even Jill Scott, <laughs> that's funny because Jill Scott, um, if you all aren't familiar, but she was talking about how she was in the kitchen one time and she was cooking and she thought of like a really good line and she had like dropped everything. And, uh, she told her husband, like, you got to take over. I think something caught on fire. And she was like, I got to write this down or else I won't remember it. Okay. So, you know, I'm wondering if this person like kind of views you as, you know, I gotta, I need to catch, right. You got to catch a firefly, right. I need to catch Leo before they get away. Okay. Um, Something's going on here over here with you too, because they also look at you with the nine of cups. So two things, I think this person looks at you as wish fulfillment. Okay. Uh, remember I said, this is my 10 of cups card. So I feel like this person wants to be supportive. They want to offer, you know, um, Leo, they may want to offer, you know, I think the biggest thing I'm getting from them is like emotional. I'm getting like emotional support and they know that they need to, um, develop themselves. Okay. Maybe even a spiritual in a spiritual sense. Okay. Do this self work in order to be emotionally supportive of what it is that you want, because this is also, they're looking at you like you're getting a wish granted. You're experiencing wish fulfillment. Okay. I'm like, but could it be like outside of them too? I feel like they're looking at you like you're experiencing some wish fulfillment outside of the connection with them. All right. Let's see. I want to just tell you two things here. When I want to mention the otter, when you look at this person, um, Leo, you see them as when they're in balance, you see them as full of love and they need nothing. When out of balance, they they're gloomy, they sigh and they make silly excuses. Okay. So that makes sense. All right. And that may be what you, maybe you communicated something like that to who this is. All right. Cause what I want to share this part, what they view you or when they're looking at you, they view you as, you know, feeling unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. Um, it's kind of like you're, you know, for a number of you, they feel like you're taking your offer elsewhere or you potentially, okay, hold on. 
Mm. I think at one point they were looking at you with the unappreciated, unappreciated energy. Like I felt like you didn't care or maybe you're maybe, okay. They feel like you're going to remove yourself from the situation because you, you know, have communicated, Hey, there's certain points where you don't feel appreciated. And maybe, cause this kind of like wanted to flip up in reverse. It's almost like you're feeling appreciated elsewhere. Okay. So they're also looking at you like that. Like you, you may be feeling, um, inspired to move in a different direction, move in a different area where you're feeling more appreciated. Okay. Cause that's the firefly. All right. Um, and I want to go. Yeah. Inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. Okay. So when you're in balance, Leo, this person views you as uh, someone who writes, creates and brainstorm. Isn't that crazy? That <laughs> That's what I was talking about with the ace of wands with Jill Scott. Okay. Um, but when you're out of balance, you're burnt out and you feel dull and that's the unappreciated energy. Okay. So, um, it says the firefly card indicates a moment of inspiration or awakening. And that is also the ace of wands. Okay. So yeah, you're, you know, okay. A moment of inspiration or awakening that quickly fades if you don't catch it. So it's kind of like, yeah, like I've got to, this is what they're sensing. Okay. Leo, like maybe you're going to leave them behind if they don't catch themselves. All right. Catch themselves in a way with, you know, you may have told this person like, Hey, you're slipping a little bit or <laughs> that's what I'm getting with that scorpion energy. Okay. Um, I just asked, I wanted to clarify it. I couldn't help myself. I asked, what did you say to this person? And it was the devil. Um, and the devil is scorpion energy. It's also Capricorn energy. I think that you may have told this person about some sort of, you know, low vibrational energy that, you know, you, I think you told them about themselves. I think you gave them an area you may have told this person, like, you need to let that go. You need to let that go. It's may, there may also be something about control that you may have told this person. Um... Let me see. Our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it graces our path. Okay. Look, our job, they show, you're looking at them with the eight of pentacles, like they're putting in work. Their job is to harness. You're like this creative spirit. You're this creative energy here, Leo. What can you, wow. What can you do to support this precious and elusive light, Leo? They look at you, um, and what you have to offer as very delicate and very precious. Okay. And you're like this little firefly, just, you know, maybe going to where you feel more appreciated. Okay. But so they, but they want to do what they can to be supportive. And I do feel like you see that because you also have, thank you for being so patient with me. Okay, Leo. So to some degree, you do feel like this person is being patient, right? With the, especially with the eight of pentacles, this Virgo energy, um, And maybe, and I think I, I actually do feel like you do appreciate who this is, Leo. I do. I think you do appreciate this person. And, um, I feel like you're going through some sort of, you know, you are also going through some sort of like major awakening here, right? With all this awakening energy, Leo, um, 
very inspired. Okay. And this person can see it. I mean, even look at the two different decks, look at the light, how you're shining. You know, this person sees you shining almost like you're really in your element right now. Okay. But I think a number of you also look at this person as someone you really care about, someone you love, and even someone who does ground you. And they may, you know, be shocked to know that you do value what they're offering you and that they do genuinely offer you some sort of um, support, some sort of grounding and some sort of support here. Okay. Um, you're looking at really quickly this person, and then we're going to get into part two. It says we are both hurting from this. When you look at um, who this is. Okay. I think that's what I'm getting with the devil. What you told them, you know, maybe you released a fear and expressed, you know, you expressed your fear too. Okay. Um, Maybe it was something, you know, I don't know if you were upset about it, if you may be um, unleashed a darker aspect of yourself. Remember, I got shadow energy. If you unleashed a darker aspect of yourself with this person, I don't know why I use the term unleashed, but or expose a darker side of yourself, Leo. Um, I'm getting release. I definitely feel like you faced a fear here with who this was or who this is. And you know that that, you know, I feel like this is you too. Okay. And you know that that definitely caused some damage. All right. And that was a fear that both of you had to face. Okay. You may have even expressed like what you're worried about, you know, what your fear is. Okay. Um, but again, I do feel like, I feel like you and this person genuinely care about each other. And, um, I don't know. I get like, this is on point. You know, you all are going into a new phase. And it can be about how do we, because you know, you hear, and maybe this needs to be discussed more. Okay. And I think it's starting to be discussed more, but, um, how do we, how do we work with the dark and the light? It's not about avoiding the dark, you know, new, new moon in Scorpio is about embracing the dark. And again, you know, it's almost like this devil energy too. It's like, let's look at this. Let's not avoid it. All right. Let's just look at it. Call it what it is. Right. It's, it's, it's a problem. Okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, this place that we're in is, it is, it's organized chaos and it is chaotic and uh, naturally, naturally, um, this place is, uh, darkness is our natural state. Okay. But that does not mean the dark is bad. It's just think about the womb where everything is formed. It is dark. Okay. So how do we, I think where you all are at Leo, it's like, how can we infuse what's happened here and make it work for us? and turn it into gold, turn it into the light. Okay. Um, something really magical is going on with you. I will say that Leo, something really magical. And, um, it's very positive. And, um, I think that it's very inspiring to who this is. I really, really do. And, um, I think this person would be 
really, you know, happy to hear that you appreciate them. You really do. You know, you value their patience. You value their um, groundedness here. Okay, with this Virgo energy. All right. I love the otter. <laughs> the otter is so adorable. So, okay. So feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe. Excuse me. Beautiful reading, Leo. So now we're going to go ahead and hop into part two. You're going to see me pull the initial cards for part two. The link um, for Vimeo, that's where the extended is. The link for Vimeo is in the description, top of the comments, okay? Um, so yes, along with you seeing where the energy is going, what the next phase is here in this connection, in the extended, I'm going to talk about what is this person wanting things to be overall with you too, Leo? What do they think is going to happen? What outcome do I get overall with you two? Um, I'm going to give you a timeline of forward movement and what that looks like. Okay. In this connection. And then we're going to talk about your advice. Uh, I'm going to pull that from the crystal spirits and the animal spirit deck. How should you be showing up in this connection right now? All right. So uh, if you're interested in that, keep watching. All right. If this is where we part ways, Leo, good luck with everything. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Peace. Okay, Leo, let's go ahead and get into this. So let's see where the energy is headed next. What happens next here with Leo's and the person on their mind? What happens next here with Leo's? person in their mind. Okay. A win-win outcome is in forecast. All right. Win-win outcome is in forecast. Full moon in Libra. Leo. Let's see. Leo. How you're looking at this person next connection. Okay, so you're seeing them with sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. And person seeing Leo next in the connection. Okay. Men, I want to fix our connection. Okay. So they view you as someone who's trying to fix things. You view, you view them as someone who's trying to sabotage things. Okay. <sighs> oy, oy, oy. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Wow, you see them as a king of wands. Okay. Very attractive. Direct, assertive. Um, king of wands is going to, you know, show up and continue to show up strong, um, very attractive. You know, I think you find this person very attractive. If this is romantic, someone, this person too could be like someone matching your energy, Leo. I'm also hearing like you see yourself. When you look at this person, you see yourself. Okay. So they see you with the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Hmm. Maybe they, okay. Hmm.
All right, hold on. I'm going to have to get more into that. I'm, I'm seeing a lot with that, but I mean, Knight of Swords is... Maybe they feel like you're avoiding like some sort of conversation with them or you. Let's pull more cards. Hold on. Wow. Ace of Pentacles what they want with this next Ooh, a new start a new beginning okay okay wow two of cups You're coming up with a lot of mutable energy for them. Well, I don't know about a lot, but this, well, this is what you're wanting. Okay, next. But I'm noticing with the Knight of Swords, this is Gemini and how you're showing up for them right now. When they look at you, it's the Nine of Cups, which is Pisces. So mutable is, you know, changing. Okay, so like, Maybe they're viewing, like you're changing, you're changing something, changing your mind, changing a change in direction. Okay. Again, I'm going to clarify that more in the extended. A number of you could be like traveling, like I'm getting like quick, you know, uh, maybe taking some sort of quick trip. I don't know. All right. Actually the animal spirit it's funny when i cut the deck camel that's about a pilgrimage it's about travel and it's fire all right here we go so this person okay you're seeing them with the rabbit energy so rabbit energy is um that has to do with the sabotage okay Yeah, rabbit energy is it is a bit of a self sabotage um, type of energy. It's like this person, you may feel like their thoughts, like they have a lot of negative thoughts, and it gets the best of them. All right, because that's what the rabbit talks about. Um, I'll get more into it in the extended, but the rabbit does, you know, feel like the worst thing is going to happen or feels like, you know, the worst case scenario is going to happen. And then all of a sudden, like, it's like it manifests and it's because thoughts become things. All right. So I think you look at this person, Leo, like they have like all of these qualities of someone who you know, just can get the job done, but you know, they're almost like their mind can get the best of them. Okay. The Eagle wanted to come out for you. Hold on. Okay. The gazelle. So there's the fire. All right. Um, I mean, gazelle is a fire. Now it's interesting because this person's looking at you. Gazelle is equally, you know, um, a very nervous energy. So both of you are showing up like prey. Okay. Um, but gazelle is someone who is always having to look over their shoulder and it is a very like fast, like moving. If, you know, if you have watched gazelle out in the wild, they can't really enjoy themselves because they're always like fearing, um, a predator, or somebody, you know, something getting them. They can't really like, not at peace. There you go. All right. It's like, they're looking at you as someone who's not really quite at peace. You're not really in the present moment. Now this is just how you look to them next. It doesn't mean that it's true. All right. Cause gazelle usually shows up when we need to, 
lit, be in the present when we need to like sit down <clears throat> and it's like, you're always on go. That's how they're looking at you. Where are we at? Eight minutes. Okay. Not bad. All right. Person's thoughts and feelings about Leo next. All right. You are my lucky charm. Since I met you, I've manifested all sorts of things. Wow. And look at the Ace of Pentacles. Yep. It's like this person wants to hold you. You're, you are their lucky charm. Okay. But maybe they feel like, you know, you're getting away. Maybe they're feeling like you're wanting to mend some sort of other connection. Now that I'm looking at this, like you're focused on mending something else. And Leo's thoughts and feelings about who this is coming up next. When I look into your eyes, the whole world, the whole world stops and I forget where I am. That's your thoughts and feelings. Um, about this person. All right. So I'm going to continue this on Vimeo Leo. Thank you for watching so far. Um, for those of you that are going to join me, I'll see you over on the extended. And if this is where we part ways, love you guys. Good luck with everything. I'll see you soon. Peace.